It's that time again. Time to highlight another amazing tool from a store with an app of the month shout out. This month, the app we'll be highlighting is easy to find and install, so instead I'll use the time to try to describe what a Voronois sketch is. What a Voronois diagram does is it splits a plane into regions based on distances to randomly created points or seed sites. So if you look at this example and drop five points randomly, the resulting Voronois cell would look something like this. Take the very same plane, drop 16 seed sites onto it, and use a curve style cell, and you get a very different result. Okay, so how does one use Voronois Sketch Generator in Fusion 360? Once installed, you'll see a button at the bottom of the Create dropdown. Once activated, you're provided with a number of parameters that will affect the style, size, cell coverage, and cell count. In this case, I'll run with the default settings, but we'll demonstrate how these settings will affect the results with subsequent examples. In the second example, let's fill the plane completely and increase the number of cells. Looks okay, but that attempt to fill the plane 100% has caused some overlap, and some of the cells even go outside of the plane. Let's do it one more time, and this time we'll change the style from curved to straight, and you'll see that this creates a nice array of cells. Once a Vornois sketch is created, you can create a number of different features. In this case, you can see I revolve the cells in one direction, revolve the voids in the opposite direction, swept some cells, and did a plain extrude. But this first example is more for aesthetics than anything. So let's look at a way to use these tools to solve some engineering problems. Looking at the front wing and nose cone from a Formula One car is one possible application. Here I focused on the central supports and airfoil, and I want to understand how much material we can remove while maintaining required rigidity. Starting with the baseline design, a solid, we'll then try a thin walled design, and finally a design based off the thin walled but strengthened with the help of a Voronois sketch. Changing to our simulation results, you can see some details you'd expect. The solid case has a tiny amount of displacement in the tune of 0.13 millimeters. The thin walled version, while much lighter, doesn't fare as well, displacing more than 10 times in the previous case. In the last case, we strengthened the thin walled version with the randomness of a Vornois sketch. Probably a good choice to stand up to the near infinite and random loading conditions this wing will face. This makes a vast improvement over the previous case. It reduced displacement by half, but only represents the tip of the iceberg in terms of development for designs like these. Similarly, I've only shown a handful of ways to use the Voronois sketch tool in this short time I've had. If you like what you've seen, make sure to get it from the App Store and see what else is there while you're at it. Have a great week.